know what I mean? And especially since that was willing to come to clear the light, you know, I, 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 I do a lot in my city, you know what I mean, to the point, man, there ain't nothing going to happen extra-wise, you feel what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I was willing to do it in Chicago. He told me he'd come to where I'm at. I'm like, we are doing it in the land, you feel me? So, shit, man, we could all just, you know, eat from this shit. And after I kick his ass, we're going to shake hands and you feel what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, sorry to break the news to y'all, in which most of you may have already figured by now, but the fight between THF Zoo and YouTuber King AK47 will not be happening. And to be completely honest with y'all, I told y'all it would play out like this, and we already seen this coming. We already did a video covering this, so if you would like to see that, I'll leave a link pinned in the comments below so y'all can get updated on what's actually going on. But in a nutshell, I told y'all that the fight was never going to happen simply because Beizu got too much to lose, right? Opposed to King AK-47. On top of that, I'm not saying that Zoo don't want to fight King AK, but I think his initial proposal to fight an AK when he made that post was more so out of anger. And it happens, right? We're human. Um, sometimes our anger or emotions can get the best of us, especially if somebody's talking about us constantly. Or, you know, when somebody's going live, and it's one thing when, you know, they talking crap, but then you got to look at the comments and see that people are agreeing. <laughs> so, you know, it becomes like an ego thing. It becomes a pride thing. And then, you know, you want to get back, even if you may not be the funniest guy. Who knows? I don't know what his motive was. But to be honest with you, I thought it was more so out of anger. Now, keep in mind if substances was involved, whether it's pills, alcohol, whatever, that can also heighten whatever emotion that you're starting to feel and you could do or say something purely out of emotion. And to be honest with y'all, that's what I feel happened. Nobody in Zoo's position who's affiliated with one of the biggest rappers coming out of Chicago should be initiating any fights with anyone, let alone a YouTuber. However, he did, and AK-47 accepted his challenge, but now after a couple days, it seemed like the fight is not going to happen due to the location of the fight taking place. Now, keep in mind, I'm nowhere near bias in the situation because I don't personally know neither side. But I must say that when Zoo asked Hands TV to set it up, knowing that all the fights that he sets up takes place in Chicago, and it's a Chicago-based platform, then it should have been a given that it was going to go down in Chicago. So Zoo do have a point in that regard. However, if he did in fact say that he'll come to Cleveland, like AK is alleging that he said, then if AK wants it to set it up in Cleveland, then Zoo will have to go out there. Because he himself put the ball in his court, and let's be real, any wise man know that you'll always be at a disadvantage if you go to somebody else's territory. So if I have the option to make it in my hometown, then that's a no-brainer, right? But anyway, let's get into how all this transpired real briefly so y'all can get an understanding of what's going on before we get into the actual DMs. If y'all remember the Atlanta case involving King Vaughn, Bezu, Little Dirk, and Hella Bands, where the victim was shot and robbed and the four of them were pointed out as the suspects for their role in the incident. At first, all evidence pointed towards Dirk and it looked like prosecutors had enough on him to convict him at one point in time and that's when we all witnessed him and King Vaughn going to court and defending themselves. However, King Vaughn would pass away due to another situation involving Quando Rondo in Atlanta, and at this time, the case was still open. However, suspicions began flying when the case was shortly closed suddenly after Vaughn's death, with Bezu and Dirk being the only two people alive involved in the case being cleared as not guilty. The prosecutors then let it be known that if King Vaughn was alive, most likely he would be found guilty for it. 
Now, social media began scratching their heads because whether paperwork was involved or not, knowing that four people were on a case defending themselves and somehow the blame just miraculously gets put on just one person didn't sit right with people. So, of course, the cinch allegations became a thing, but with no real confirmation or proof, most people forgot about it. Fast forward to last week, Bezu would bring the victim on live in which he was saying he wanted to prove to the world that he didn't snitch and the victim actually helped him in unknown ways that he didn't wish to disclose. If I'm not mistaken, Bezu brought him on live about twice, but once again, most people are wondering if the case is already finished, why bring the victim on live? What was the point? Now King AK-47 went live and the topic came up about Bezu bringing the victim on live and he began roasting Bezu, saying he looked like his auntie and also proceeded to say that Zoo and Dirk did in fact blame everything on King Vaughn, being that he's no longer alive, so they can get out of that situation scot-free. Now whether that's true or not, putting bodies and crimes on the deceased have become a thing lately, with people agreeing with it saying that it's a no-brainer because you can't charge a dead person. However, you have other people saying that snitching is snitching whether the person you snitch on is here or not. By the way, get in the comments and let us know what y'all think. Is telling on someone who is deceased still considered snitching or not? Y'all get in the comments and let us know how y'all feel about that. Now, King AK-47 will go live trolling and roasting Bezu. Bezu will respond by challenging YouTube bloggers King AK-47 and Trenches News to a fight. He offered 10K each to fight the both of them and 20K without the gloves on. He would take to his Instagram to say, quote, Hey, at Hand TV, I got 10K apiece. If you can get this drunken monkey N-word at AK-47 and Master Splinter at Swiper to come get in the gloves with me. Before the month out on my kids, I'm putting the bank up. I bet you any kind of money they both duck they ish. I got 20 without the gloves since y'all talk so much. Let y'all nuts hang and come bump like a man. Since y'all civilians, I just want to make y'all spit red. Check it out. Now, after actually going back to this, I actually did see that Bezu actually did say that he would do it before the month is out. Now, I don't know, you know, y'all take from that what y'all want to take from that, but he did specify here that he wants to do it before the month is ending. Whether King AK-47 want to do it before or not, that's totally up to him. However, when it does come to the location and time, I'm not too sure about the location part, but he did specify that he wants to do it before the month is out. But anyway, King AK-47 will respond in his Instagram story accepting the challenge by simply saying, let's do it. Trenches News had a different approach. He didn't accept the fight and say he wanted to do a fight. Instead, he would take a different approach and speak on Bezu and Lil Dirk's case being sealed, simply stating that if him and Dirk got nothing to hide, then why did they seal the case? Then Trenches will also go on to make a good point, as he will also say that nobody with sealed cases should be calling anybody rats because nobody can see details in their case. And honestly speaking, he kind of do make a good point. If you seal the case, which is usually requested by the defendant themselves, how can you call someone rats when your case details aren't public? So he does make a good point. However, Trenches will go on to challenge Bezu to unseal his paperwork and show the world for 10K instead of fighting. He made a good point, but we all know Trenches didn't want to fight from the beginning, right? Now, fast forward to last night. After it's been days, we haven't heard much about these guys fighting. It will come out that AK-47 and Bezu can't come to an agreement on a date or location. AK rather it be in Cleveland where he's from and Bezu wants it to be in Chicago. Now both parties expose each other's DM to prove that they not ducking each other and I want to know how y'all feel and what y'all think about these guys fighting. So to start off with AK-47, I'm gonna read the messages he exposed then show Bezu's and y'all let me know based off what y'all see, who's ducking who. Now AK would take to his story with the first message to say quote, can't play internet mind games with me, it won't work. I don't give a F about none of that. Then he would show a DM where Zoo hit him up in the next slide and said, quote, keep my name out your mouth, line something up so I could be itch down your leg. Since you want to make content on me, your A, keep my name and your suckers link, up police, add N-word, you hate on other black men, your itch ain't going to last long. Let me find out Zoo tried to play the black card, man. <laughs> but anyway, at caption it saying, quote, line it up. Okay, I lined it up. Make sure you tell the people when you was woofing that, I'll pull up on you-ish. In the next slide, he showed a group chat between him, Hand TV, and Bezu, 
where Hand TV asked, what day we doing this? And Zoo replied saying, quote, set it up, this N-word trying to make it some Ohio-ish, this the Chicago build, I'm ready, let's do it before the month out, before I get back on the road. At caption is saying, quote, very next day, early in the AM. Now in the next slide, Act would address the whole situation and what's going down by saying, quote, moral is, he called me out to box, told me line it up, and going say in the toughest voice ever, he would even pull up on me. Okay, then bet. I set everything up, did live stream, told Cleveland Boxing 216 and Hands TV the move. Next morning, everything changed. What happened to the pulling up on me talk? And it took you three days to come up with this and post screenshots of you talking to a whole nother N-word that I ain't see. Your whole clique was just in this city doing shows and kicking it. Now, I didn't see where Zoo said verbatim that he would pull up. But Zoo did say, line it up. So I don't know if AK took that as him saying he'll come to Cleveland or maybe they had a different conversation. I don't know. But right now, the miscommunication is that Zoo wanted to go down to Chicago. AK-47 wants it done in Cleveland. Now, Bezu went to show his audience the conversation between him and Hans TV, and the messages Hans TV would say, quote, AK, I got this. I do this daily. Everybody leaves safe. I've been knowing Zoo and his family my whole life. He got love for me. He a man of his word. Plus, I got everything secure at this spot. We setting up a date. I'm going to call you today and see what day good for you. Then Bezu would caption it, saying, quote, Me and Hans been having a group chat to set it up with no response. We know you doing all that woofing and ain't gonna show Chicago is the location. It's been confirmed. Why we ain't hearing from you, but you on live and making posts. We the only handlers. 48 hours later, no confirmation. So basically, Zoo is saying that there was never no real confirmation that anything was ever going to happen. So it's not on him. He's willing to do it, but nothing has been confirmed appropriately. I couldn't see the previous messages, but judging from Hand TV response, it looks like he was trying to assure AK that he was good if he came and fought in Chicago because maybe AK was skeptical about going there. Now, <laughs> to be 100% with you, even though Hands is assuring nothing will happen, history tells us that Zoo ain't the most trustworthy guy to be doing meetups with. Right? And I'm just playing y'all, but y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So if AK is a little skeptical, I could kind of understand. Not to mention, Hands TV says that he can assure that nothing will happen, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not saying Hands TV may not have any control over his events, but this is a different level of fighting between two guys that don't really like each other. It's already been threats in the past. It's already been, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z when I see you. And not only that, but it's no telling how either side will respond if they see their boy getting beat up. Let's say Zoo is beating the crap out of AK-47, I doubt his entourage is just going to sit there and let it happen, and vice versa. So that's where it gets a little shaky at because once things start going down, it's not much you're going to be able to do to stop it. And honestly, in my opinion, these guys too grown to be fighting in the first place. All call outs are mandatory, but we also got to be smart here. It isn't a smart move because things can go left, so for the sake of safety, I don't think this is actually a bright idea. Now, if we out and happen to see each other and we get it on, then that's a different story. But to meet up just to fight, they too grown to be doing that and it's too much at risk. That's if you ask me. That's just my opinion. Now, Bezu also went on to repost a picture of boxing gloves with Nardo Wick's song, who won't smoke in the background. And in the last slide, he would caption it saying, quote, can't waste my time with a blogger that's trying to find a way out. I knew you was going to be a no-show. Now, after it was all said and done, AK would take to his story to say, quote, Y'all want somebody to get shot or killed so bad. Most of y'all just entertain. Y'all welcome. Now, in a nutshell, that's really all it is, y'all. A bunch of people hyping things up on the internet and instigating because they want to see something happen. Just so something can actually happen and when it do, they can sit there and tell you how stupid one of them are for even doing this or doing that. That's social media for you. So it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't, you just can't win. But honestly, at the end of the day, it's really no need for these guys to be fighting. It's too petty. But if they do decide to actually fight, it shouldn't be broadcast. If they really want to do it, they'll find a way to make it happen amongst each other. But fighting over the internet and some internet BS and for it to be sitting public, and I wouldn't recommend it, but you know, to each his own. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this. 
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.